Welcome to Custom Art Framer, a powerful yet simple to use pricing and visualisation program for custom framers. With this program you can price any custom framing job or use it to upsell uh, the prints that you sell in your shop. Uh, here's a sample of a print that I sell uh, and if you look at the report here you can already see it's uh, got a retail value here and as I go along from left to right uh, adding uh, mats and then moulding, you can see that the program is adding a retail value uh, for the mat and adding value to that print. If you want to um, show a customer how their work will look in this program, uh, we can go to this mode, uh, go to image capture. Uh, now in my shop, uh, my staff and I all share a Dropbox folder and we all take photos of our customers' work with our smartphones. Uh, so I've got one in my Dropbox folder that we share and there's a, uh, an image of a customer's work now. So I'm going to select this region as the image and pull this marquee so that the outside is going to sit where I would want the map window to come to. This is actually a work on canvas but if it was a work on paper it would be the same, uh, the same theory. I'm now going to put in the dimensions. Uh, this is a 300 by 400 work. And then simply add that to project gallery. Now I can minimize that screen. And you can see here's the customer's work now in the uh, gallery. I can add it to the work desk. And now I can add some mats. I'll add a white mat and add a frame. And you can see if we go to the report, uh, that there's no value to image because that's the customer's image uh, and it's adding value to, for the mats and the moulding. Now I can show the customer what this work would look like with a range of mouldings by highlighting uh, a couple of uh, alternatives and then go into the show, uh, compare in project and it will put those mouldings side by side with the customer's work. Nice little uh, functionality. Uh, I can even uh, add uh, fillets and over on the right I've got a fillet gallery so I'll just drag and drop a fillet into that workplace and then uh, onto the details I can add some glass and then there's a range of uh, materials and services and labour types here that I can add and now these are all uh, absolutely customizable to how you work so the sorts of things that you put in your framing uh, jobs. Uh, there's an hourly rate. That hourly rate can be customised to uh, to whatever you whatever you do in your store. So once you've selected uh, materials and labour types, we click OK. I'm going to click number one for the hour rate. It'll take me about one hour. And again, if I look at the report, you can see all the uh, all the prices it's adding. Now I could uh, show this customer what this would look like uh, on a particular colour wall. Some customers think that's important. Or I can uh, select uh, a particular type of wall, for example their bedroom wall, and I can get a sense of what it would look like on a wall. Uh, the customer can take a photo of their own living room wall and we can put that into the program and they can see the artwork on their own wall. So some great versatility um, in this program. At this point, I'm going to save this pr as a project. I'm going to give the project uh, a name. Indigenous artwork. Uh, the user ID is the framer uh, in my shop. So there's uh, four or five in my shop. So they've all got their own user IDs. I'm showing you off the test version. Uh, and there's the customer I created a little while ago called New Customer. Uh, any comments you want to make uh, on the job sheet, this job sheet will get printed out and go to the workshop. So we'll save that. And now I simply uh, add it to a new invoice. And you can see it's uh, brought the customer's name here. Here's the project. And when I print this, I, it will print out the invoice plus the worksheet for the, uh, for the workshop. A few more things I can do at this point. Uh, if I know um, I don't have the moulding in stock, I can click on this purchase order tab, uh, select the moulding down here, and then uh, create a new purchase order. 
uh, and there's a purchase order. It knows that the supplier is Megawood Larson Jewel, and I will just keep this, these purchase orders uh, open for a week until I have a week's worth of ordering, and then I'll email them all off uh, at one time. So quite a versatile program. Uh, if you have any questions uh, on this program, please contact us through our website.